These are pages from the Dresden Codex, the oldest book written in the Americas. It is a Maya holy book created over a thousand years ago. Since 1880, it has been studied and critiqued by scholars who have done an incredible job at interpreting the glyphs and how the sequences of images are related to the Maya 260-day calendar. Scholars have also interpreted the numbers and tables in the Codex that predict things like solar eclipses and the appearances of Venus as the morning star and evening star. This is page 11 of the Dresden Codex. Although it has the appearance of being sloppy and possibly primitive, it is a showcase of eyes and feet that are aligned. We can prove each alignment simply by drawing a straight line through the eyes that are aligned. Each legitimate alignment must have at least three eyes. The eyes are sometimes hard to see because the pictures are so busy with detail. But the reason the pictures are so busy with detail is so that you won't find the alignments. The arrows point to three eyes that are aligned. The middle eye belongs to a turtle, which is part of an elaborate headpiece. Here's the proof the eyes are aligned. The line goes through all three eyes. We say that a line goes through an eye if it touches the edge of the eye or passes through the eye. You might want to pause and look. Here are arrows for another three eye alignment. Notice that the middle eye is the turtle eye again. Here's the alignment. Would anybody still think the alignments were accidents? Well, for those skeptics, there's a third alignment involving the turtle eye. Here is the third set of eyes that are aligned. Here's the line. There is no doubt that the alignments are the product of meticulous design. How meticulous? The center line is exactly 90 degrees from baseline. The two other lines vary from the center line by exactly 23 degrees. But are those the only three eye alignments on the page? No. These eyes are aligned. These eyes are aligned. These eyes are aligned. We have six lines, each linking three eyes. There's one more eye alignment. We'll show it on another copy of the page. There are four arrows for this alignment. That makes seven eye alignments for the page. But are the eyes the only body part aligned on this page? No. The big toes are aligned. The feet involved in these alignments are colored red. Here are four big toe alignments. Each line links three big toes. Understand that you are among the first people in the world to see these alignments since the Dresden Codex was confiscated in the 1500s. Are there alignments on other pages of the Dresden Codex? Yes, there are alignments on nearly all the pages, the pages that have three or more illustrations. Here's page 20. It has a similar pattern of eye alignments. Here they are. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. What do the alignments signify? We're not sure. Each set of lines may represent a map, possibly a floor plan to Chichen Itza. Possibly the lines show where to stand in the ceremonial setter on a particular day and time to see a celestial phenomenon, like a full moon passing through a designated opening in the wall. Possibly these alignments show phenomena related to the equinox. The display shows lines that are 23 degrees apart coming together at the turtle eye. This would occur at the equinox when night and day are the same duration. You may wonder who discovered these alignments. It was Siegfried Zig Engelmann. Is he a Mayan scholar? No, he's a renowned instructional designer and an accomplished watercolor painter. How did Zig know what to look for? He didn't. He was convinced that pages in the Dresden Codex were carefully designed to conceal something. He tried different things and discovered the alignments. See Newly Discovered Secrets of the Maya, Part 2. 
Download the entire Dresden Codex from Wikipedia. See if you can find alignments of three eyes.